he fit, he fit into that, that mold of, of Gettysburg's top athletes. And, uh, and you always mentioned him, as I say, in the same breath uh, that you mentioned any of the others. Overlooking Bream Gym sits the Gettysburg College wrestling room. Watching over today's current grapplers stand the images of former Bullet All-Americans, none greater than that of two-time national champion Joseph Bavero. Sprig Gardner came, who was very successful up in Long Island as a coach at uh, W.C. Mepham uh, High School. And uh, Sprig uh, turned the program around a little bit. But when he brought, he brought Bavero in, Bavero was a... I, I, he, did, he said it, it was his, his speed and his balance were his two greatest assets. He was a natural wrestler. There's no two ways about it. Probably one of his fortes, which made him really excellent, was he normally took down position if he had the choice. And his best move was an inside wing. And even though people knew it was coming, he still was able to execute it. His inside wing was pretty good. And he had such excellent balance, and then as soon as he got, he threw his legs on and then He's an excellent leg man. He didn't shoot takedowns very much. He was much, much better as countering whatever somebody tried to do. Bavero was talented to say the least. As a sophomore, he lost only once in the regular season and finished third at the Middle Atlanta Conference University Championships. That only drove him more for a spectacular junior campaign. He set a record by pinning each of his first 10 foes and swept through the dual season with a perfect record. The other wrestlers that he was going up against, uh, now he was, he was going up against the, the guys from Lafayette and, uh, and uh, F&M, schools that had you know, good named uh, uh, wrestling programs, and uh, he was doing very, very well. You, 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 then you kind of expected these things to happen. There was, you didn't think anybody was going to be able to beat him out there. After dominating the MAC championships and earning MVP accolades, Bavero went off to the NCAA College Division Championships held at the Colorado School of Mines. No one could withstand the bullet grappler's advance as he knocked off nationally ranked wrestlers left and right, capping the event with a victory over Cal Poly's gym team to claim the first national championship in Gettysburg's athletic history. I would say when he started wrestling, he did fine, and I think he surprised a lot of people, you know, at that, because they, they never saw anybody from Gettysburg before at the Nationals. It, it's interesting because even when he went to the small college uh, championships, the college division, not the small college, but the college division uh, championships, because in those days there were only two divisions, university and college. And uh, so when he went to the college, you just, you know, I, I, get the, I get the calls uh, each night after his match, you know, and uh, his matches, and they tell me what he did. Well, I expected him to win that one. I expected him to win this one, you know. And uh, then when he came down, with, finally we're coming into the championships. Oh, gosh, you know, yeah, he's going to meet some really good, tough kids. But Joe can do it. You know, he's that type of kid that can do it. When, when Joe won that, we made a banner in the training room and put it up in the training room. The first time we'd ever done anything like that. And we had a party for him in the training room. Uh, we had cake and, and we had a, a, big, a big cake with champion, champion on it and a big banner. And there was a banner out in front of the, of the gym here for, for Joe. And there was a group of people that met them when they came back. Uh, a large crowd of people was around when, Joe, when they returned to Gettysburg to turn to town. So it was, it was quite a festive time, it really was. It was the only time that I can recall in the time I've been here where someone got a banner hung for him in the training room and, and a cake for a champ. Uh, so that was really a, a highlighted time. For, for us and for Joe, I think. Bavero was far from done as he qualified for the NCAA University Championships at the University of Wyoming. Once again, the Gettysburg grappler took the field by storm and made his way to the championship bout at 147 pounds. Only a referee's split decision prevented Bavero from laying claim to the university title. Despite the setback, the junior was hailed as a hero on campus and in the community. Well, they met us out there by the holiday. Yeah. It was like a parade in through town, convertible, sitting on it, you know. Came in, and then they had a big shindig at the SAE house. Of course, the, the town is buzzing right and left. You know, most of the people didn't follow wrestling at all that much. But because of Joe, uh, there was a tremendous amount of uh, enthusiasm throughout the whole, everywhere you went. People were talking about, you know, Joe Bavaro and the national title and so forth. And it was, it was really kind of neat the, 
uh, just to see that uh, that that old spark going again, like it was in football back in the '40s, you know. But now it's Joe Bavaro in the uh, in the '60s uh, coming through with uh, such a tremendous amount of enthusiasm and, and interest. Expectations were heaped upon the Long Island native heading into his senior year, and he didn't disappoint. Often moving weight classes to face the opponent's best wrestler, Bavaro racked up another perfect season and conference title. He won another college division championship and finished runner-up at the university level. His accolades place him among the elite names in the history of the Middle Atlantic Conference and Gettysburg College. As a result of his exploits, he was among the first inductees into the college's Hall of Athletic Honor in 1978. Are related over the fact that Joe, you know, really put us on the map uh, again in, in modern wrestling history. Uh, and we, we had such a tremendous following with him, and we should be tremendously elated about it. It's, it, it says a lot, of, I think, about the history of, of Gettysburg. Uh, the strength of, of, of the recruiting here and the strength of the athletes that we get here, I think it says a lot about how strong uh, we participate and, and how strong we participate in the conferences we're in now. When Joe wrestled, we were in Division I. And, and, and then we went to small college his senior year. But basically, we wrestled some really good schools and, and held our own in all of those. And I think that says an awful lot for Gettysburg.